Gemini, Gemini Rising, this is your May 2015 General Focus Tarot Psychic Reading. If you want a private reading with me, go to www.hypnoule.com or alternatively you can get one burning question for $35, send that to hypnoule at hotmail.com. Now this month, Gemini, you have the Tower card for the whole tone of the month. Now do not panic and think, oh my gosh. Now the um, Tower card is about refocus, it's about prioritizing. It's about having something come up that you feel is chaotic, that you feel like is a major turning period. It's about turning things on their head and realizing what is most important to you. And I feel like there's um, two areas of your life where you really will make changes so that you're able to focus on what you find is more important to you in your heart by the end of May. So um, the the tower card in your work sense, well in your work sense we have the five pentacles and this is about you know, maybe feeling on the outs at work. So maybe you feel like uh, something's happened at work and um, it could be something big, could be something small. And so you feel like uh, you might be embarrassed or you might be a bit down on yourself and so you're, you're feeling a little bit lonely or ostracized. Maybe you feel like someone didn't support you at work. Maybe someone tried to blame, um, put all the blame on you. Maybe something at work fell through or hasn't gone the way that you wanted to. So this is just saying just to sit and just to wait. Um, don't move forward uh, too quickly. Um, the uh, tower card um, is about things uh, dissolving, about things crashing to a halt. There could be um, a reason why things have crashed to a halt. Maybe you need to refine something. Maybe there needs to be more time or more input involved before you can move forward. It's also about um, taking the best action. So, you know, don't go um, with your first gut instincts. You know, I feel like sometimes you, it's paranoia and insecurities which could be causing some of this. And so if you look into it and just wait and see how you feel in a couple of days. Don't panic. Just wait and see it until you see how you feel. Now in our home, we've got the Queen of Cups. Again, mothering, nurturing. This is a water card. Uh, so Pisces, Scorpio, um, uh, Cancer. Uh, this also could be a little bit of an Aquarius because she's the water carrier. So I just feel like the a, but there is horns around this, so Capricorn, Aries, or a Taurus. Um, so this is Gemini, and there's two, um, there's fishes on this, so I feel like it's probably got Pisces, because there's definitely a cherub uh, with a fish on it. Um, anyway, so she is being the nurturer, and there's a priority at home, so maybe uh, mum's been ill, and so everybody else at home has to step up to the plate. Maybe there's been... Um, a standstill, something's come to a standstill, which is bringing communication up through the females in the house. Maybe there's been a um, a scare, a health scare of someone in the family, which really brings all of the um, priority and, and uh, focus to the home and to really focus on what's important. Maybe you don't have your... Um, head in your work game because you're worried about somebody at home. Okay, so this card is all about nurturing, priority, um, it's all about, you know, following into intuition and going with your, uh, you know, your sensing, you're sensing things around the home. So if you sense that somebody at home needs uh, a little bit more attention, you go for it. Now with your house, we've got travel and we've got the nine of uh, pentacles. This is about feeling good. This is feeling um, strong. Again, this is power about where the home is. This is what your heart is, feeling warm in your heart and senses about the home. So I'm just thinking, what's going to happen that's a bit of a dramatic turn of events or something? that comes crashing down or something that really focuses your mind eye on the home because I feel like it's your home and health situation because you're feeling really good to be home and also if you're sitting test there could be a couple of results coming in there is travel to attach to this card but there is also she's got a red hat on which I always feel is you know sure thoughts um, you know uh, firm ideas and finding out what it is that you need to know now, uh, in our relationships, we've got the moon card again. We've got the Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces involved in this. So again, uh, do you not have your um, your head in the mind and your work game? 
because there's been a chaotic event in your relationship where there's a family member or an ex during the pot because this card's about three people being involved in the relationship maybe it's a child that's causing trouble between the two maybe the child and the new partner aren't getting on maybe there's custody issues uh, with a new partner uh, that uh, got custody issues uh, it could be that their mother or father doesn't like you it could be that the ex could be uh, trying to talk to your partner and so that's what's stirring it up but there's something um, it's not used to it's someone coming in from the outside that's trying to stir the pot definitely a cancer Scorpio or Pisces involved in that and um, and maybe that's why you've not got your head in the work game so that's your reading um, just take everything as it comes remember everything happens for a reason and exactly the right time and you should be fine I'll see you next month